before we get into this one, if you could just hit that subscribe button down below, that would mean a massive amount to me. I'm trying to get all the transfer videos I can out at the moment. So those subscribes and likes would be much appreciated. Let's get into the video though. So again, as I say every time now in these videos, transfer video, this time Otavio. Now Leeds have actually supposedly already had a bid knocked back from Porto for Otavio. Now that first bid was rumoured to be about around £26 million. This next bid that has rumoured to have actually been made by Leeds United is supposedly in the range of £34 million, which is €40 million. Euros. Don't know whether Porto will accept that bid, but I think it's a very good price for, for the player. Um, he's 27 years old. He plays for Porto, like I said, in the Portuguese league and the Portuguese national team, even though he was actually originally born in Brazil. And he has some very, very good stats, which I think makes him an ideal Marsh player. So what are his basic statistics then? Well, three goals this season, non-penalties and nine assists, which is pretty good. Um, it's not groundbreaking, it's not the best in the world, but then when you barely scraped by the skin of your teeth, survival in the Premier League, you're not expecting to sign the cream of the crop. But this guy though, looks like he could be on the way to Leeds United and he looks like he's a very, very decent player can play right mid, left mid, and centre attacking midfield. So, well, attacking midfield in general. He could play anywhere of those left attacking mid, centre attacking mid, and right attacking mid that Marsh might implement if we do play the 4-2-3-1. He'll play one of those positions behind the striker alongside Brendan Aronson, Rodrigo, those type of players. So that's the sort of player he is. He's actually in the 99th percentile for pressures for wingers, and attacking midfielders and he's also in the 99th percentile for wingers and attacking midfielders for tackles as well so to me this is like Marsh's dream player because Marsh wants us to win the ball in the final third as quick as possible and then go straight as we can vertically towards the opposition's goal now I've mentioned this so many times but a player like that 99th percentile they are above nearly every person in their position for pressures and for tackles. Those are the things that Marsh wants to see. Marsh wants to see his wide players and his uh, attacking players pressing the ball as fast as they possibly can and tackling those opposition players. And with those stats, for Marsh, that is absolute dreamland. So I can see why Otto will have presented this player and Marsh will have gone oh my God, yes, this is perfect for my system. The other thing about Otavio is that he creates a lot of chances. Now, we're gonna compare him to Rafinha here. Otavio has created 5.17 shot creating actions per 90, whereas Rafinha has only created 3.67 per 90, and that's measured over the last 365 days through fbref.com. Now, if you're new to my videos, a shot creating action is the pass that leads to a shot or the pass that passes to the assister of the shot. But it doesn't just mean passing, it could mean the person who wins a free kick that then somebody has a shot on goal. It also could mean the person who wins a free kick that then the free kick whips into the box and then somebody attacks that and it goes in. So it's quite complicated, but it just means it's a way of measuring the pre-assist basically and it's just a good barometer of whether a player is involved in attacking play and whether a player is involved in creating goals not just looking at his assists and obviously nine assists this season is actually really really good as well so it's it, it's up there now the portuguese league is not as good as the premier league in terms of standard everybody knows that but he still creates a lot of chances and obviously those chances will take a little bit of a dive when he comes into the Premier League if he does sign for Leeds United but it's not going to be completely off a cliff I would hope I would hope that he's still going to be very involved in attacking play he's still going to be winning the ball high up the pitch feeding it into Bamford or whichever striker we might bring in um, and 
creating those chances and opportunities because he seems like on paper he's got all the attributes required to do it. We're also going to compare his progressive passing to Rafinha as well. Now, Otavio has got 5.42 progressive passes per 90, whereas Rafinha has got 5.22. So, very similar, but it shows that he's the same type of player as Rafinha in that he wants to get the ball forward. And it's another thing that completely ticks one of Marsh's boxes because he wants his players to get the ball forward, attack as much as possible when they are in transition. And those progressive passes are a key part of that. A progressive pass being a pass that goes forward further than the previous six passes in a move combined. So say your players have been passing it sideways along the back four, just on the halfway line. And the seventh pass of that move is taking it right up towards a winger or right up towards a striker. Progressive passes are passes pretty much in the opposition half that go a decent distance towards the goal in long terms short, if that's even a phrase, which I don't think it is. But it shows, again, that he's willing to get that ball forward. He gets his head up and he looks forward and tries to create those chances. And it could be something to do, these statistics here, something to do with... Well, 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 with why he hasn't scored as many goals. Because he scored three goals this season, which isn't fantastic for an attacking midfielder slash winger. But with those nine assists and those create shot creating actions per 90, five shot creating actions per five and a half shot creating actions per 90, that is brilliant. Five and a half, 5.17. That was the other statistic. 5.17 per 90 is really, really good. Creating five chances. That is really, really good. And that is maybe why he hasn't scored as many goals because he's an unselfish player and he likes to try and play in players who have got a little bit of a better opportunity to score than he has. So I think Otavio would be a really, really good signing for Leeds. Now, yesterday you'll have seen my Cody Gakpo video and I think he would be a great addition to Leeds United. But Cody Gakpo it's a difficult one because he is such a high caliber up and coming youngster. He could have his pick in Europe realistically. So he could go to any of those other teams that want him. Arsenal uh, have their eyes on him, but because they have their eyes on Rafinha as well, like I said in that previous video, and they've already made a bid, which is their preferred option to go for Rafinha. They're sort of standing back according to Arsenal fans. It was a comment on my last video, so shout out to you who commented that that Arsenal fans think that the club are standing back on Gakpo so that Leeds are clear to buy him, which then allows Rafinha to go to Arsenal. So they're trying to almost go for a little bit of a chain there. But we could circumvent this whole situation by signing Otavio without selling Rafinha. Like before we sold Rafinha, we could go in for Otavio because it looks like we've already bid for him, um, which is good news, to be honest. Um in my opinion, because I think he'd definitely be an excellent addition to our team. So it'd be interesting to see how things unfold in the next few days. Tomorrow, there is a video about Charles Della. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his last name. The young 21-year-old attacking midfielder from Club Bruges that we've got our eyes on. So check that out tomorrow uh, and my opinions on him. And it might not be what you think. So thanks for watching this one. Another transfer update. This one was one that sort of I was looking around on Twitter for news and this one popped up and I thought I had to make a video uh, because he seems like such a good, exciting player and he fits our system so well uh, and fits our manager so well. So thanks for watching this one and I shall see you tomorrow with that next video. Thanks for watching.